New Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell took to the mics check one two at the NFL Combine. Now these Combine interviews, as you saw yesterday with Quasi, they're super quick, a lot of superficial answers, a lot of superficial questions, but uh, Kevin O'Connell did drill down a little bit on what the Vikings overall philosophy is going to be, especially on offense. Obviously, that's his side of the ball, so let's dig in with a fork and a spoon. So, uh, When asked about the Vikings offensive philosophy, what it going to be like, uh, Kevin O'Connell went into great detail. He said this, quote, everyone uses the phrase the marriage of the run and the pass, or for Zimmer, it was the run, 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 and the pass. But what that means is in my mind is an identity of doing a lot of things to make it hard on the defense but in all reality they're simple for us we use the term the illusion of complexity i love it it's like the prestige which is a fantastic movie by the way and what it means is that we do as many things as possible to make it start out looking the same but they're different to uh, they're different to defend a personnel groupings different formations different motions different shifts so as opposed to run run pass punt run run pass punt run run pass punt run run pass punt you have a lot of motion a lot of guys moving all over the place and i love that especially using justin jefferson's versatility he can play the x he can play the z he can play the slot getting him in motion getting him in, in favorable matchups is going to be phenomenal so you want to see more of that and then he continued it's important that we play with great bowel security. It's important that we can establish the run with phys- physicality and toughness. It's like, oh, there we go. Setting the run. But, hey, I, I, I don't care. As long as they don't know exactly when you're going to run, as long as you don't run all the time on first down and also the first play in the red zone, I'm okay with it. I mean, because you got Dalvin Cook and also the Minnesota Movement Company up front. The problem is pass protection. They are one of the best run blocking units in the game. So, yeah, absolutely going downhill, imposing your will. I'm fine with that. There's certainly a part of that, but also you got Justin freaking Jefferson, man, right? Uh, it set the tone for everything that we wanted to do as an offense. And I think you have to be great situationally, not just two minute, but third down red zone. That's really, really important because converting in those situations leads to opportunities to score points, which is, which is good. Scoring points is good and being good in those situations. He also talked about the similarities between the Vikings uh, personnel as uh, and to the Rams, but uh, he also said that it's going to be a little bit different uh, with the Vikes, but I'm okay with that. And then uh, Chad Graff, go. Uh, Kevin O'Connell acknowledged that the Rams were primarily an 11 personnel team, but now with the Vikings, O'Connell said, I hope to be more multiple. Now, this could speak to the fact that maybe the Vikings retain Tyler Gronklin and also you have Irv Smith coming back. And the Vikings have been one of the top uh, multiple tight end teams in the last couple of years under the Kubi. Nailed it. Uh, so the Vikings may still run some uh, a lot more uh, two tight end uh, uh, personnel. Also, you have CJ Ham is one of the best uh, fullbacks in the game. So it may not deviate too much. Uh, I think that there will be uh, quite a shift into a lot more 11 personnel Vikings have either been the the at the bottom or bottom five in terms of 11 personnel use of the last couple of years I think that will change especially with Jefferson and Thielen and KJ and rookie wide receivers TVD maybe some ISM in there yes also he met, met up with Steve Hutchinson well, what's up but I'm sort of sad that Hutch changed his Twitter handle because it used to be poison pill 76 which is just great which is just, just a great reference from back in the day uh, next uh, talk about Ed Donatel. Quote, I know Ed is excited about a lot of our players we have returning and the idea of adding some pieces that fit exactly how we want to play. End quote. So maybe that's alluding to Bryce Callahan, ca- cornerback from uh, the Broncos, uh, also played uh, for Donatel with the Bears. Same thing with Kyle Fuller, uh, Kyle Fuller, Broncos and Bears. Maybe Von Miller? Maybe not. Maybe Akeem Hicks? And there's Donatello and Petten from the Chicago days. It's possible, right? But uh, I think the Vikings defense, they do have talent. They had a lot of issues last year. Uh, I think Zimmer's, uh, I think the league caught up to Zimmer's scheme. Also a lot of injuries, a lot of COVID issues on that defense. And it just, uh, the whole was less than the sum of his parts. If you know what I mean? Uh, the next Chad Graff, the athletic go. Uh, Vikings coach Kevin McConnell said there's a lot to like with the team's offensive line, noting the talent at tackle with Brian O'Neill, one of the best right tackles in the game. Christian Derrissaw, first round pick. Hopefully he can really step up year two with a full off season. Asked specifically about Garrett Bradbury's inconsistencies, O'Connell said that he liked Bradbury's athleticism. And you look at what the Rams have done. 
with Brian Allen, who is a free agent, by the way, and is projected to only be fetching five years, $25 million, so $5 million a year. Yeah, bring it on in. But uh, Brian Allen is actually weighs less than Bradbury. He is an undersized, uber-athletic uh, center uh, akin to Garrett Bradbury. And he saw what Allen was able to do in that scheme with the Rams. And I think what was really smart about the Rams' offensive line is that he wasn't being consistently left on an island against man-sized nose tackles. He was getting help. They were doing shifts. They were getting chips. Uh, so I think that Bradbury, we, we love Bradbury. His run blocking is great. Him getting out on screens is phenomenal. It's just those one-on-one spots against freaking Kenny Clark and Akeem Hicks all the time, right? Just getting thrown back into the quarterback. If we can mitigate some of that, if we can get him to work with a little bit more leverage, if he can get some help from his guards, if the Vikings can do things up front with the offensive line and Wes Phillips and Kevin O'Connell and Chris Cooper can actually get something out of Bradbury, it would be great. I mean, because they're clearly not going to pick up his fifth-year option, but if the Vikings can get him to uh, finally fill out some of that potential that he had as a first-round pick back in the day, it would be great. And then finally, wait, that was it. Nah, there we go. Yeah, like we said, these uh, these combine pressers for GMs and head coaches are pretty, uh, pretty short, pretty sweet. But I think Kevin O'Connell gave a lot of really good insight on what the Vikings are going to be uh, going forward. And how can you not be fired up? How can you not love football, man? especially since it is a new day, new dawn with Kevin O'Connell. But your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at Kevin O'Connell's presser from the Combine. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts, etc. in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.